Welcome to the first look at the plugins version of RTB version 1.6. We've got some plugins. I've tried to separate now uh, the the use of Google Maps since Google started uh, charging for for excessive use of their product. Um, they force us to have a key. So hopefully in future somebody else will come up with a plugin. You can write your own plugins if you're talented enough. More on that later. Um, to replace Google Maps with something else that's uh, free and easily accessible. Uh, in the meantime, I'll take you through this new interface. So uh, let's just pick this. This is a play uh, plugin that I I made for demonstration purposes, and we'll just keep that as uh, random height. So you can select. Uh, image maps on this side and height maps on this side and the rest of the interface has sort of just been shuffled around a bit um, so we'll we'll go ahead with that actually I'll just change the, the background size up a bit it'll take a little while to create the image so it's actually going and creating the image now in the background and we can actually start working and there it is it's popped up with a nice beautiful rainbow and the height was all random there um, so now, if you want to modify the landscape, of course, it, it's um, if we just go and subdivide the triangles here, you'll see these are also being generated by that plugin. So when we do random heights, it's actually generating all the random heights for all these points as well. Um, so if we go to the venue now and have a look at the plugins tab, this is the the new one. Um, we've got random heights there, so you can turn that to none. Um, it's like switching the heights off. So now if we click through here, uh, we've got to select the height thing, and then we can modify that height. So it's no longer using the plugin. You've got no plugin. And we can mo modify away. Um, so that's... Uh, the rainbow plugin. Now let's have a look at uh, Google Maps and how I've modified that. Okay, so this time rather than the rainbow image <laughs> API, I'm going to switch back to using Google Maps and we'll switch the elevation to also come from Google Maps as well. Notice here my API key is the same in both cases um, and if I test it here, I've got a little test there and same on the other side, it's using that same API. So um, more on that, if you click on here, it'll take you to a link on the interweb where you can find out more information on that. Um, I've got this set to low at the moment, and uh, if we just reduce that down, um, 20 images, actually, let's take it e oops, even lower. There, six images. And if I click OK now, It'll go off and create that image and grab it all and bang, there it is. Very quick, but also very chunky graphics. Um, so we want a better image there. Let's have a look at what happens when we crank that up. Okay, so this time round we're going to up the size of the background and the images will pump there. So that's quite a few images to come down and um, it takes a while. Now on previous versions of RTV, when you clicked OK here there's a little uh, bar that came across here and you'd have to sit for quite a while depending on your your internet speed and how fast Google would deliver those images. Um, now this happens in the background so as soon as we get in here we can start working on our track. However, how do you know where you're going to put this track? Well, you might have noticed the Google images are coming up here bit by bit. We're getting uh, quite a few images and pumping it into the, the one larger image. And so I've done this in a way that it, it works on the centerpiece of your uh, image of your venue first. So grab this strip and then it'll slowly work to the either side of that. So hopefully your racetrack is down the center of it. And that's rather a large uh, track to model on there but you can actually start working on your your racetrack ahead of time you don't have to wait for the whole oops I should have pressed escape on that one you don't have to to wait on the whole uh, thing to come down first so you can work in here grab this uh, change it around I uh, muck that bit of track up as well so and that's going to keep going um, 
what happens when you try and escape at the moment if you were to try and exit say the image plugin is still retrieving an image um, and uh, give you a warning so um, you can just progress and um, you can actually save it off it will save the venue but the image obviously if you exit out it won't have completed it and it won't resume it when you start again that is something I plan to do um, however it's, it's um, technically a, a little bit harder so um, that's it pretty much thanks for watching